Okay, this is a tutorial on how to download Cain and Abel to use network sniffing in order to sniff out everything that under your network, anybody who's doing this. So, I'll show you how to do it. So, you go to the site, www.oxid.it slash cane.html. You're going to come down here and download this one. Regardless, you just if you have Vista or XP, which is probably going to be most common, just download this. You save it, and I already saved it into my downloads. Right here. I'm just gonna open up, open this. Yes, allow. All right, so we're gonna get this setup wizard here. The so next, next, you install it. So everything should be pretty self-explanatory. You should be able to figure it out. But this tour, I'm really gonna mainly just show you guys how to use cane because it could be quite it's quite confusing at first but it's easy always allow by the way your vi your um, security systems if you have it like Cathy or Norton they're not going to like this program all right so this is the uh, interface we have right here this is cane so what's pretty cool is that if you click on wireless passwords you can press this and what happens it'll give a list of all the wa routers that's that it can search out and the password with it and Internet 7 password, you dump this, it'll give you all the passwords that were used on Internet 7 that was remembered. Windows Mail, like if you use Inbox, like down here, it will show you the username and the passwords. So, well, what will happen is, um, let me see here, yes, yeah, there we go. Go down to Snipper, and let's just remove all this, so I can show you Move all this. Okay. So this is what's just gonna happen for Snipper. This is how you want to do this. First and foremost, you want to go. If you want to get this to work, you go to here configure. You're gonna get this. So you're gonna have these adapters here. You might have different ones, and you have to find pick the right adapter if you're gonna work. So what I did is I just. You try all of them. So I'm gonna try this one, and I wanna right here. You wanna add the MAC address. You wanna add the um, scan for MAC addresses. I'm just gonna click this. Sorry, shoot. So before you do anything, I just wanna click this button right here, and then do it. All right. So you just do all hosts to my subnet. That's what I do. Okay. So it's not finding anything, right? So configure and try a different one. I know this is the one I use. So here you go. Now you do this. And scanning. There we go. So these are the three computers I have. And let me tell you, this is this is my router. Uh, this is my brother's computer, and this is my dad's computer. So to resolve a host name, like the computer name they have, you just like um, right-click this one and say resolve host name. And just wait a little bit. Take a while. Sometimes it won't resolve it. So there you go. This is my this is the host name. <coughs> so, you got this. This is good. So, you're going to go down here to APR. This little tab. Click here. Now, you're ready to start entering the stuff. So, right here, click Add to List. Now, what you want to do is just click on your router here. So, your router. You'll know which one's your router, I hope. And then, you highlight all this. And then... There you go. So, just read this over here. It's going to hijack everything from this one to all these. There we go. See, now we got two. Now we now it's, when it's ready. We got it covering from here to there and from here to here. So, now there's just one last step. And all you got to do is click this little button here. Bam. Poison. So there you have it. Now, from then on, any activity going on between these computers will show up here. It will tell you how it's routing it. And then, if you, the interesting stuff is over here. So if you're doing that, you come down here to where it says passwords. Click here. And go to the where it says HTTP. Right here. Click here. Now, uh, what happens is 
I, I can't show you right now because no one's doing anything on the computer. Everything here, that everything, every website they visit, they will give a timestamp. So a website they're going to, and if they use like a Gmail account or anything, they'll show the username and password. Sorry, sorry about that. They use, they show the URL right here. That's where everything, all the stuff is. And what it shows is the client will show you who it came from. So if it came from 197, and that's um my brother, it will show it who like what website they did so that, that's really interesting and cool you can go to IMAP here and then um, all this stuff it's really neat this is like IMAP is an email and POP3 like the inbox stuff and then what's really interesting is this Vo IP I still don't voice over IP I don't know how to use it but what it's said to do if they communicate the net the sniffer would try to record everything that they say over it, but I don't know how to work that out yet. So that's pretty much it. Um and then APR. See I'm already getting some stuff but nothing's really happening. You wanna make sure that let me just tell you that the snipper will slow down the internet so you don't you wanna make sure you just don't you only use it when you need to use it. That's pretty much it and you can press alt page down to hide it to the system tray as you can see here and click it back to get it back um... that's pretty much it if you need any help or anything just give me a PM and try to get back to you as soon as I can Alright.